Guys, today we're going to be looking at Dream's top 10 plays that I could find on the internet and testing them to see how hard they really are. Today we're going to see if he really is the king of Minecraft or if a noob like me could pull these plays off. Let's start off with number one. He's climbing up a mountain, getting chased by the boys. He's scared. He don't know what to do. He's running for his life. His neon green skin is poking out like a little neon green needle. I don't know what I'm saying, but check this out. Gets up to the top, gets cornered. What are you going to do in this situation? You're going to die. That's what you're going to do. Unless you're Dream. So he's stuck, jumps off the edge, no water. It places the hay bale last second and survives with two hearts because the hay bale reduces your fall damage. Okay, let's find out if it really is a hard play or not. Now, as you guys know, I don't even know how to craft a boat in Minecraft. How do you make a boat? What's a boat? What's a boat? So I do not in any way consider myself a Minecraft pro. In fact, I hardly even know how to play the game. 64 hay bales, and we're just going to send it right here off the bat and just see what we get. Okay, so I'm in creative, obviously, but first one's a success. That's one for one. Just got to send it. Believe. No, that's one for two. Option one is to jump off, spam click. All right, at the very bottom. But you gotta wait till the end or your finger's tired. Option two is to just give it that one single click and you just gotta get the timing right. So if you can do that with one click. See, I feel like the one click is much harder. This is the one click again. Going in, just one click at a time. It's not bad, but you got a really tight window to get that. So I think the spam click is probably the safest bet. And as long as you do it on a piece of flat land instead of like an angled piece, I think you're more confident. So overall difficulty, I'll give it like 10 being super hard, zero being like a two-year-old could do it with no experience. I'll give it like a three. Sweet play, smart move, but overall coolness, I'm gonna give it a coolness factor rating out of a 10. All right, this next play, absolute banger here, folks. Check this out. In this play, Dream gets backed into a corner. He has full health at this point, all right? But you can see he's getting beat up by some zombie pigmen. Backs into the corner, gets down to literally half a heart, and he uses his shield to block their attacks and actually escape the pigmen attacking him with half a heart. So down to half a heart, you got three pigmen in the corner with you, and all you have is a shield iron sword. I'm not sure what armor he's wearing right now, but he made it out. That looks like a hard play. I'm here today, guys, to prove to you if it really is good, or is Dream maybe Dream's an imposter. Maybe he's not good. Maybe these plays are all easy. Let's find out. Yeah, I just made another portal incorrectly. That's how good I am. Now he's out here. He's out here inventing new way, new mechanics. That's what you'll get on this channel. I'm assuming he probably had full iron at this point. I don't know for sure. Come on, boys. So we got our one pigment here, two pigment, three pigment. Shields up. We're back in the corner. It looks intimidating. So I'm going to put the shield down. Okay, so they, they do some pretty big damage. We got to time it. Boom. 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 See that? That's a pattern. You got to time it. Okay, so I, I died. First try, I died straight up pretty bad there. Getting our pig hit in, and this time we're going to play it a little bit smarter. We're going all in. So so we're scared. Oh my gosh, George is going to kill me. We're not going to be able to get out. We got pigs. Okay, okay. Not bad. Missed a hit, missed a hit. Okay, that's a hard play, guys. I literally cannot get that play to work. All right, final attempt here for real. It, to pull it off is not easy, but let's, let's go ahead and try it. Got one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh God, I can't do it. I think I had one more hit to get it, but I still can't do it. That's an extremely hard play. Uh, difficulty ranking, we're gonna go for a 9.2 on that one. Very, very difficult. Coolness factor though is not quite there. Gonna give it a two on that one. But the next one will blow your mind. Check this out. So here's what we got. Our boy Dream is running around, running along, sees a little ravine down there as Dream does. His laser beam eyesight targets it and says, target located. Jumps into the water and he knows his boys are following. So instantly covers it up with wood and it causes his friends to come down and smash it. Now, if we look at the time he hit the water until he placed it, how much time is that? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. There's literally three seconds and he covers that entire thing in wood. Now it doesn't look that hard, I feel like, but it's a pretty impressive play and it's smart thinking. All right, so we're running from the boys. Oh no, Dream's chasing me. Oh no, George, oh no, what do I do? Oh, get in the water. We got three seconds, boom. Okay, so for obviously I'm gonna drown myself. So that was not, not gonna, not gonna cut it. Not gonna pay the bills with that one. We're gonna go for like a two by two. Oh no, George, you're gonna get me. Oh no, I'm gonna get over. Okay, it's tough. This is just too big of a zone. You see a water in the ground. You got three boys chasing you. Boom, you hit the water. Here we go. What's the speed? Yeah, I mean, it's really, it's not bad. Difficulty is about as easy as I thought. Like a 1.2, this would be our easiest play yet. But coolness factor comes in at a 9.3. That's a very cool play because it's simple, but gets the job done. I like that little combo right there. It's very good. The next one's actually gonna be really hard though. Check this out. Now this one is a little bit mind blowing. If you haven't seen Dream's videos, it's it's actually ridiculous. If this is actually humanly possible, uh, it confirms my belief that Dream is in fact an alien among us, which would explain the green skin uh, and lack of showing his face. Now he's dead. You know, he's going down. He's got bread. He's got a bow. What do you think he does next he jumps down and lands in water no that'd be too easy he jumps down and lands on a horse he lands on a horse and sails off into the sunset i don't know why but this seems easier than hay bale let's find out we'll do two horses hop down you see the horse going for it going for it going for it going for it first try first try that's legit all right that doesn't seem too bad so here comes a survival test the horse jump 
I can't even see it. What? Nope. Oh, I just clutched that. Oh, okay, all right. All right there you go. Like you could click on like anywhere in his body and you're gonna ride it. It makes it a little bit easier to hit, but let's try just one more. Y'all know how bad I am in Minecraft. And if I'm pulling these off, you can pull them off. Let's do a more extreme version. Here we go, guys. Full on speed. Get that crosshair lined up. You see that? And then that. Is it actually, do you just land on it? Do you even have to click? Okay, so you do have to click, but like, yeah, that's super easy. Uh, I might even say this might be the easiest one yet. I'm gonna give this like a 1.1 on the easy scale. But the thing is on the coolness factor, this almost maxed out our chart at 9.3. Very good style points. And if you got a gamer girl that sees you do that, might as well get married straight off the bat. Coming in here next is a play that I really, really didn't want to do. I've been putting it off. I had this as my second one in the list, but this is the man who essentially invented the nether portal using only a single couple blocks of wood, some lava pools, and a water bucket. So let's just watch how he does this and see how hard this actually is to do. You place wood in there, pour water next to the wood, you break the wood, and you get this little foundation, two holes in the bottom, build up around it. You see what he's doing here? I That's that's very tricky. I mean, I don't know. A lot of people probably have never done this before. Um, I'm sure some of you do know. First, he puts a piece of wood down. I believe he puts water next to the wood. That looks right. And then I think he breaks the wood. Oh, well, there was actually... Okay, all right. So there was there was something that messed me up. Let's let's do it. Okay, so place your wood, water next to the wood, break the thing. Then after this is where it gets a little bit a little bit dicey for me. So he uses his back wall, and it, normally there's nothing behind it. Kind of goes up like so, pours the water here, and then it seems like he go puts lava there. See that? See that? And then uh, are you doing the same thing over here, Mr. Dream? Let's see. So he does this right, gets the corner, comes in, does the top, boom. Boom. Now, how do you do the side here? There's no water here, young man. There's no water here. If you need water there, you can just put water there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so we did do it successfully, but we did do it very, very, very slowly. Okay, so we're gonna try this one more time. I think I know what to do now. Go towards the edge of the lava, place down a single bucket of water, and uh, I did it wrong already. Place down your wood, then a bucket of water next to it, then break the wood, and then it creates a little circle on the ground. All right, once you got that, just like so, put down your water. Lava goes here. Then you get your roof. You can do two on the roof. This is this last corner that gets you, but I think if you put down water, you can just kind of be like one, two, three. Okay, and we did it. I'm actually impressed that I managed to do it. Probably some more efficient ways to place it. And obviously I am in creative mode, which means that I'm not <laughs> like pouring it out. In terms of difficulty, this one's out there. You gotta actually put in some time. This is our highest difficulty yet. I'm gonna put it at a 9.5. Coolness factor also very high, 9.7. That makes this our coolest play of the day today. That's sweet, let's do the next one. Now, if you want to be a professional speedrunner against some assassins, what you need to know how to do is kill the assassins and escape. What we have here is Dream running for his life while three players chase him and he turns and nails every single shot at these people. Look at this. Every single shot he shoots is a hit. Hit, hit, hit. So my question is, how hard is that to do while running and shooting? So for this one, what we're going to do is actually spawn in a bunch of zombies. Go into survival mode and see how hard this actually is. So we're running for our life. See how many hits we can get. All right, let's just see if this is actually that hard. That was a hit. That was a hit. I mean, obviously these aren't players. They're a little bit slow. And obviously I'm not a pro, but it's actually not too bad. Like when they're that close to you, you can kind of whip around, get a hit. Okay, I missed there. Let's get to a better location. Okay, so here's our assassins. Oh no, oh no. Um, You slow down when shooting, so you got to keep that in mind as well. And I don't know what version he was in. You know, really in terms of difficulty, it's really not that bad. Like obviously I'm not the best shooter, but obviously these also aren't players. So like if they're that close to you, like it's just, it ain't no thing guys. Look at this, 360 no scope, bang, whoosh, bang. Obviously when you're under stress and pressure, it's gonna be a little hard, but like in terms of difficulty, this one ain't getting that high of a rating. Come on, Pierre, lowest, 0.9. Coolness, not even that good on that either, like a 1.5. So kind of hurting on both here, a little bit of a weaker one, which is why we're coming in with a banger for the next one. Dream's running for his life, takes a golden apple, falls straight into the lava, and obviously that's gonna give him some invincibility to the lava where he then survives. My question is, how difficult is it really to make a play like this and survive in the lava? How long are you gonna last? Is the golden apple difficult to use? Is this a super easy play you just gotta get lucky for? Or is it a high IQ play that makes Dream spectacular? Okay, so for this play, Dream has a God Apple, also known as an enchanted golden apple. And what he does is basically falls in the lava, eats it mid-fall, and as he falls, he gets fire resistance. So uh, right off the bat, first play there, super easy. Five minutes of fire resistance from this apple. Five minutes of fire resistance. So if you fell right in the center, away from all the land, nowhere near anything, nowhere near blocks, mobs, anything, you got five minutes to get out. And uh, if you're a smart player, I think you're gonna stay under the lava for a little bit and take a nice, 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 real deep swim. What really makes it hard is coming up with the idea, like doing it last minute, doing it when you can't do it, except for the next challenge, which is one of the hardest, most difficult to not only think of, but also to do. And for this one, I gotta update my game. 
So guys, for this next play, Dream is running for his life, and right before your boy gets him and kills him, he falls right on top of, guess what? A lava horse, folks, that's right. Hits the strider right on it, gets down to almost no health, and manages to actually ride the str Okay, there he is going down, there he is. So we have a strider here, pop the saddle on, then you can ride it. So what he does is actually falls onto his strider and then puts a saddle on it while landing on it at the same time. It's actually pretty incredible. We're gonna see if it's possible. We did manage to put it on, going straight down. Very difficult, very difficult. Let's try it from a baby height. Let's just get familiar. Okay, not bad. You come down and you go, if you double, <laughs> you guess you don't want to walk right into a lava waterfall when you're doing it. Just do a quick high one and see. Again, we're going for a double click strat, double right click. Here we go. Very hard. He was walking back like this, saw the striders down below, took the saddle out and hit him. It's not, it's not, it's tough because it's kind of hard because I haven't consistently gotten it, but like if you miss it, the thing is on this one, if you miss it, you're done. You miss it, you're just, just no coming back on that. From a higher, I think I got it figured out. On this one, all right, it's not too bad if you kind of angle, watch, watch this, watch this, ready? I got it, every time. You gotta place the saddle, and then as you place it, you gotta look up a little bit and then hit him right when he's in front of you. This one looks really, really cool. We're gonna go into survival real quick. We're gonna see if landing right next to it, and then coming up is easier. It's not, it's not. So you pretty much gotta do it like really fast, land right on top of it and make it happen. Coolness factor is a 9.7. I love to see people do a double play. I'm gonna give difficulty on this one a 9.6. All of these things are possible and doable. The thing is, they look super hard. You gotta practice. Peace. Oh, look guys, we made a cursed cactus. So that's what the underneath of a cactus looks like. I bet you none, none of you ever knew this. The underside of a cactus is just a different colored piece of oak wood. It's just oak wood, but green. Huh, never thought I'd see that in my entire life. There you go, guys. Uh, now you know.